Hello, my name is Mansour, and today we are going to take a look at how we can calculate number of tubes in a shell and tube heat exchanger using process heat transfer book, uh, which published by Robert uh, Robert uh, In this lecture is going uh, maybe it's the first part of probably uh, three or four parts in tutorial of uh, thermal design of shell and tube heat exchanger. So let's jump into the example and using Excel sheet to calculate number of tubes in shell and tube exchanger. We have kerosene and crude oil and we pass that we leave the crude oil in the tubes because it's uh, have a higher pooling resistance and we have the inlet temperature and outlet temperature for the shell side of the crossing and the mass flow on the both sides. So let's jump into the Excel sheet and calculate number of tubes. So press equal for calculating heat load and insert the mass flow rate on the shell side. Multiply this by 0 0.59 because we have the crossing uh, heat capacity just right here, which is 0.59, and multiply this by the differential temperature. Open the bracket and 390 minus 250 for the shell side is the temp differential temperature. We have the heat load. So let's calculate differential temperature on the oil side, which is in the tube side, and uh, we have the heat load and divide this number by the mass flow rate on the shell side, which is 150,000 on the tube side and divide this by the heat capacity for the oil, which is 0 0.49, 0 0.49, and again divide this uh, so uh, just press enter. We have the differential temperature for the outlet temperature. We have equal this number plus this 100 degree Fahrenheit at the inlet of the shell and tube. So we have the temperature at the outlet of the tubes. For calculating differential temperature for the hot terminal and cold terminal, I have drawing the shell and tube just right here. This is the hot terminal, and we have 390 and 150, which we have calculated. Just insert this number, 390 minus 150. Just make sure you have inserted the equal to Excel sheet calculate differential temperature for you. Again, press equal. We have 250 and 100. Just insert this number as well, 100, and we have this number for the hot terminal and cold terminal of the shell and tube heat exchanger. So let's calculate logarithmical differential temperature. Press equal, open the bracket. We have the hot terminal minus cold terminal, and close the bracket. Divide this number by ln of the cold hot terminal per cold terminal again and close the bracket and press enter. We have the log logarithmical uh, mean temperature, difference temperature, I mean, so we can calculate area. For the area, I have inserted the formula just right here. We have the heat load and uh, LMTD, and we are going to Estimate unit of the design for the overall heat transfer. So let's get back into the Robert's book, which we have the for the kerosene and oil gases, which in the tube side we have the oil and is the range of the design unit. So get back. I I just select to to any file as as the design you. 
for the area we have the Q which is right here and divide this by the design which I have read it from the book and LMTD just right here and multiply all this number by 1.05 because to make sure we, this formula has uh, FT uh, correction factor which I have not mentioned just right here I just multiply by this number to make sure that we have the proper area for the heat exchanger so press enter and uh, Excel will calculate area which required for this unit. So for the number of tubes, we have the area, pi number, and internal diameter of the tubes, which is one inch and length of the tubes, which is two to any foot. So to just make sure you have changed this unit one inch into the foot. Just press equal again. We have the area, divide this number by the pi number, and again divide this number by the internal or outlet diameter of the tubes, which is one inch, and again divide this by the length of the tube, which is 20. And multiply all this number by 12, because just uh, actually change this inch unit into the foot just press enter and we calculate number of tubes which is 155 so this is the first part of the uh, actually thermal design of heat exchanger shell and tube heat exchanger probably we have one or two other tutorial as well to calculate the internal diameter of the shell site and calculate proper velocity on the tube as well and at the third part probably we have we are going to calculate all this number using HTRI at the third part I think so if you have any questions just let me know in the description below thank you guys have a good time bye bye